Uh, welcome to the new Force Automotive. Uh, this tin shed <laughs> in my backyard. Um, it's kind of a mess right now, but uh, working on it, cleaning it this morning. I got another car coming in for a fuel pump. Um, but anyway, uh, the other shop is still up and running with Brian. And uh, this is the new one. It's basically two bays, with only one lift, but. Uh, it's just me. Here's some of the toolboxes and the other ones are back here. Anyway, I wanted to make this video about this oil burning furnace I rigged up. Uh, some of it was by looking at other YouTube videos and and online and whatnot. Uh, ideas on how to make this work, but I finally got it working really well with a low amount of money. Um, so this is the oil uh, unit I just drained into there. Uh, had to saw the bucket off because it wouldn't fit on the shelf I already had made. But anyway, just bought uh, you know a water spigot for a 55 gallon drum on Amazon and ran it through to uh, this window so you can see the stream. Hang on, I'll grab a, a flashlight and uh, we'll show you that. So there's the stream in there of oil that's being used right now that's a fairly large stream not huge obviously and then uh, that's just for spillover in case something you know gets clogged or something uh, and I run the copper tubing over to this old 55 gallon drum stove I found out back um, I'm going to eventually pipe it out the ceiling that's what this other pipe is for I've got a bunch of that to Pull out the roof at some point, um, and then uh, build a little bit of heat shielding around here. Um, temperature is really good. It depends on how much oil I dump in there, the hotter it gets. Uh, and it will work without a fan blowing into it, but not the kind of heat you want. You know, you want clean burning and lots of heat. Um, this is probably putting out about 75% right now. I can turn it up some more. Uh, it's raised five degrees in the last five minutes about, but I just barely got it lit. I thought I'd show you the flame. So this little fan got off Amazon. Blows really well, even through this reducer. Uh, that's just a one inch gas pipe going into here. And it's got a dog dish stainless steel. Uh, the pipe there on the left side comes into the flames. I've got two dog dishes. One's upside down with the pipe blowing into the center. And then a larger dog dish is right side up. And so the, the fan's blowing into the smaller one. Uh, boy, this is a really clean burn. I don't really have any smoke at all. It's putting out some great heat. Uh, but yeah, this fan was key. I couldn't believe I got it for 15 bucks. I tried three, two other ones first and they were junk. But this, I almost want to buy another one while they're so cheap. Steel housing, it's got a big squirrel cage in it. But uh, yeah, I'm about to turn this up because I got a job coming in. Uh, great, great heat for cheap. I mean, these drums are cheap too. I mean, you could probably build one for about 200 bucks, I think, off Amazon or eBay or whatever that I've seen. I mean, I had this out back, but the kits to build them are around 80, 90 bucks, and then the drum, I think I saw some on uh, Amazon for around 100 bucks, if I remember right, maybe 150, but they're like a used drum that they've blasted or whatever, prepared with no paint on it. And uh, yeah, what a great way to burn whatever you want. <laughs> so, so yeah, anything that'll burn, yeah, this thing's awesome. These, this fan here, the black one, and this other one, are just blowing heat off to distribute. I've got one more sand up on the ceiling that's not on yet, but push air around in here. And I think I'm gonna, I even got the door open, it's still getting warmer in here. I'm gonna go shut that and then uh, turn this thing up some more while I'm getting ready for the next job. But anyway, from Force Automotive and the, the Republic oil burner, I'm very happy with it. <laughs> 